This week, Japan's Internal Affairs and Communications Minister and about 150 Japanese lawmakers visited the controversial Yasukuni War Shrine. And the move once again sparked tensions with China, with the Chinese Foreign Ministry denouncing the shrine as a negative asset for Japan. The shrine honors Japan's war dead, but also serves as a symbol of the country's imperial past. With more, here's China State Broadcaster CCTV. Another visit soaked in controversy. On Tuesday morning, Internal Affairs and Communication Minister Yoshitaka Shindo visited the Yasukuni Shrine and offered a symbolic gift. This was the minister's second visit in just 10 days. Among the other 150 Japanese lawmakers to make the trip to the shrine on Tuesday morning were members of the ruling Liberal Democratic Party, the main opposition Democratic Party of Japan, and the Japan Restoration Party. Japanese lawmakers commonly visit the shrine at this time of the year, during the country's spring festival. Last year, 168 lawmakers made the trip, the highest number since 1989. On Monday, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe sent an offering to the shrine that was from the Prime Minister, breaking the promise not to use his official position when contacting the shrine. The visit on Monday and Tuesday were immediately condemned by China. Just as I said yesterday, the issue of the Yasukuni shrine is one of Japan's negative assets. If the Japanese leaders want to continue to shoulder this negative asset, it will become heavier. Unfortunately, after only one night, the negative asset has already become heavier. The Yasukuni Shrine is considered a symbol of Japanese militarism during World War II. Fourteen convicted war criminals are among the millions of Japanese war dead honored at the shrine. Abe himself also visited Yasukuni on the first anniversary of his government coming to power on December the 26, 2013. The visit triggered strong worldwide condemnation. Nijap, CCTV. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.